Hey, good morning everybody. It's Pastor Keith uh, with the Zoe Project Update. It's Sunday morning, early morning here in LA, though I know uh, Upper Dublin is already on its third service. So wishing everybody a good service. The church behind me, the uh, Oasis Church here in LA is just opening its doors for worship this morning in this beautiful uh, church and location. We had a massive day yesterday on our second full day of the Zoe Project. Uh, we started off with devotions in the morning uh, led by the founder of an organization that uh, ha helps people have conversations around faith, gender, and sexuality using the arts. And then we had a design thinking um, program. Uh, one of the themes of the Zoe Project is that we're applying design thinking to uh, social change and to ministry. And so we went through an exercise where we were trying to kind of solve a problem that affects young adults uh, and uh, kind of work through that and do some brainstorming and design thinking. And uh, I'm going to create a Facebook note with all of the links to all the different types of things that we're doing. So obviously I can't cover it all in a Facebook uh, video. So we'll have a um, thing for all the places that we've gone and some of the ideas that, that we're talking about. And we'll keep them all online so you can go check them out uh, if you like. So after our design thinking program, we uh, all headed out. All the participants were broken up into four groups. And they went all over the city exploring different domains, different areas where people gather and make meaning. Uh, my group in the morning went to a viewing of Hentified, which is a new web series uh, starring America Ferreira. Um, we watched all seven episodes. They're kind of small episodes, and it's about gentrification, specifically in the Boyle Heights neighborhood of LA, which is a, a Latino community, and uh, people are being pushed out because of gentrification. So it was a great, funny, and very poignant series that we watched in this amazing theater uh, at the Ace Hotel. It's part of the Sundance uh, uh, Next Fest. Um, so that was really cool. And then afterwards, there was a panel discussion about their neighborhood, about gentrification. It was a combination of artists, actors, uh, activists, and uh, it was really powerful to see the screenwriters, the executive producers, uh, community activists all talking about uh, a really important and complicated issue in a really profound way. Um, so that was pretty neat just to be there and be part of it. And then afterwards, there was a little kind of premiere after party, which we were uh, able to go to, kind of a very L.A. scene uh, outside next to the theater. And we got to take that in for a little bit. And then almost as penance, we uh, went to Soul Cycle in Santa Monica. So we got back on the bus, went to Santa Monica, and we did the 40, 45 minute Soul Cycle uh, exercise. And uh, that was hard. I've never done a spinning class before. Uh, but uh, we, everybody was uh, game, and we had a good time with that, though I am tired and sore, and I've never sweat so much in my life. But uh, Soul Cycle is an example of where people come together in the domain of health and well-being. So you know, even as we were bicycling, there are these positive messages on the walls, uh, and the person that's leading the group is not only taking us through the different exercises, but is giving us a kind of motivational, positive, and you could say, very well say, kind of spiritual messages as we're doing that. So there's this kind of group exercise component where people are kind of moving in the same rhythm together, which is very powerful in and of itself. There's loud um, house music and, uh, and these messages that she's given to us. So it's kind of a very, very kind of spiritual place and it's a hugely popular um, kind of thing. Uh, after that, uh, we went to the 626 Night Market, which um, is uh, on another side of town. So we got back on the bus and we went to this massive outdoor fair where there's tons of food. We got some great Korean barbecue, uh, all kinds of vendors, music. It was just a very cool hit place to, to be for a while and to cool our jets after a long day. And then we got back to the hotel and then we met with our coaches. So like yesterday was like a more than 12 hour day uh, where we were doing physical activities, cultural activities, and we were kind of all processing it you know, as we were going along. And other members of our group uh, went to different places. Uh, they attended a brewery. They went to a farm uh, that provides uh, sustainable foods in a local community that's kind of like a food desert where there, aren't, there isn't enough food or access to, uh, to food or good food, um, nutrient-rich food. Uh, people went to a thing called the dinner party where uh, it's for young adults to uh, have dinner and gather and uh, kind of have permission to talk about loss in their lives. Um, so between the four of us, or five of us, our, our UDLC Zoe Fellows, we were really able to take in a lot, and it's gonna be a lot to process. 
So uh, these little dispatches from LA are really great to be able to synthesize some of that. Um, what we have seen are people that really connect with their neighborhoods and really understand uh, the needs in their neighborhoods and the, the people in their neighborhoods. They're committed to um, meeting that need and it really comes out of a great personal passion and a shared passion for meeting those needs and for their local community. Um, they know who they are and they're able to tell you exactly who they are uh, in a very succinct and clear way. So they're very clear on their mission, they're very clear with who they are uh, and they're able to tell you about it. Uh, and it comes through uh, authentically in everything that they say and everything that they do and in the spaces that they create for people to gather. Um, and so we're thinking about, you know, what are the needs in our local community um, that, uh, that we can help with that aren't being addressed? Oh, what are the resources and assets that we have available to us, not just in our church, but in our local community um, that we can bring to bear and help bring to bear on that? What is the wisdom that it's in our community already uh, where we can help perhaps bring people together across disciplines. Uh, we have all these people in our neighborhoods doing amazing things, uh, but are they connected to each other? So there's just a, a lot and we're sort of just letting it try to soak in uh, and saturate us and kind of keep uh, reflecting and keep talking uh, and uh, bring this all back to, uh, to Upper Dublin with us uh, when we get home and to share it with you next Sunday, a week from today, we'll have something to say and worship about that and we'll make all these uh, links and materials available online so you can check it out as well. It's just some amazing, amazing stuff. You know, um, uh, of course, like we just see so much of the brokenness of the world on full display right now in our own country and uh, around the world. And sometimes it can be hard to see the hope in things. And this has been an experience of hopefulness to see uh, in the midst of uh, tragedy, in the midst of um, brokenness, in the midst of all the challenges we face, there are people in this world and in our neighborhoods who are truly doing amazing things, uh, and uh, we want to be those people too. So uh, we're praying for Charlottesville and uh, for the world today, and uh, wishing everybody a, a good Sunday. And our next stop is San Francisco, so we're flying out later this morning to San Francisco, uh, where we'll spend the rest of our trip. We're flying home from San Francisco on uh, Wednesday, and we're not given our itinerary very far in advance, but we do know tomorrow that we are meeting with the director from Pixar, who directed Up and In and Out, which is gonna be pretty amazing. So stay tuned for that. Um, we head out to San Francisco later today, uh, and we'll send you updates on our Instagram uh, at, uh, at UDLC Ambler and uh, here on Facebook. All right, take care, peace.